Okay, so how do we make our footer the same as the footer on the demo website? So this is a question that we get asked a lot. So essentially these two areas are uh, widgets. So in order to create this footer, first of all, we need to scroll down and uh, just go over here to appearance, click over on widgets. And once that loads, we'll also need to head on over to our pages area. And uh, we'll open up all of our pages. I'll open up this up in a new tab. Scroll down to find our home page. Here we have the home page and make sure that the footer is enabled. Okay, so here we have enable full width page sidebar above footer for this page. So this is, uh, we need to make sure that this is enabled as yes. We also need to make sure that our um, page template is full width. Okay, so once that is confirmed, click on update and then we can proceed. So here we have this full width footer area for our page or for the home page. So to start off, we need to use this flow text widget. We'll drag and drop it into this area just like this and uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, copy all of this text to make sure that it is identical. So the title is photography, the subtitle is my passion, and here's the text. Okay, so we'll click on save. We'll go here, refresh our home page, and here we have photography is my passion, and here we have pretty much the same. Okay, next off, we need to add four images at the bottom. So in order to do that, We'll take this flow images um, widget and we'll drag and drop it into this area over here again. Just like that. So we'll close this one here. Okay, so here we have the ability to upload an image. So I'll use the images from my media library. So this will be my image one. This will be title one. Open. And the button URL, I will take the link from our demo site and just add it here. Okay, so image hover for the background. And then we also have uh, image hover over the text. So we'll just um, put this one as white. Actually, no, we need to leave this one as black. And this one will be white. Okay, there we go. And we'll click on save. Let's do this one more time. Get another image. Add this attachment. This will be title 2. Open. Button link. Save. Next. Take this image. Add attachment. This will be title 3. Button title open link and we'll click on save and we'll add our final and fourth image. This will be title four. Open and link. We'll click on save. Okay, now that this is saved, uh, we'll just go ahead and close this widget. We'll go here to our homepage. We'll refresh it. And here we go. Now you'll see that this image is just slightly out of size from these other three. That's why it looks like that. But at least we have four images at the bottom and we have the same layout as here. Once we ho hover over this, you'll see that I just didn't play around with these hovers, but you'll leave this as white, have the text as black or uh, gray, light gray, any color that you need. And just um, make the adjustments like that. So this is uh, pretty much how you um, how you customize it. So we also have, you'll notice that we have this text slightly different uh, from what we have here on our um, on our homepage. So in order to do that, you'll need to go over to flow theme. I'm just open up this area. Go to typography. And we'll need to find our widgets area. So we'll just scroll down the page until we find the widgets area. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So we have float images, widget image title, we have this text, uh, an image about text, float text, widget title. There we go. And uh, let's go with, uh, just go with this one here. And we'll click on update settings. We'll go here, refresh this page. And you'll see that our uh, font has changed. So this is how you update um, the footer area to make sure that it looks just like the footer on our demo website. So you just um, go to widgets, add the flow text widget, add the flow images widget, add all of that content here, and uh, you're pretty much ready to go.